Hey, welcome back. So, I've got the riding mower, but it's a little going to be a little too tall with me sitting on it to get under the tree in the front yard. So I think I'm still going to need the push mower for at least that part. But as you can see, hard time keeping it level. Been having issues with that front axle. So, let me tip it up on the side and I'm going to go ahead and pop that wheel off so you can see what I'm dealing with here. So the front axle is held in by these two plastic prongs and as you can see this one broke. Well there's a hole right there on both sides of them. So I stuck a screw in there to hold that in and it was fine for last year. It seemed to hold up for most of the season. But every time that falls out, it loses its position in, in the adjuster. And I did scalp a section of the lawn because of that. So I'd like to fix it better for this coming season. And the way I'd like to do that is just cut those off. And then take some measurements and design a 3D printed part that will replace those two prongs. Something that I can just screw on with the two holes. This side will have, obviously have to be fatter because I think I'm going to have to get rid of this whole piece. But first I need to get the rest of this axle out of the way and hopefully without damaging the other side but if the other side gets broken in the process I can always just cut it out and do the same thing. So how do we get this out of the way? I just have to try to push back the remaining prongs and try to force it out. See what happens. So everything else came out quite easily. I was able to get it out without damaging the other end and cut off the rest of this prong just with a pair of wire snips because it was hanging off by a thread. So got the Dremel out and the safety glasses on. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the rest of this remaining prong so we have a we can make a piece that will just slide right in there with a half inch not a half inch but a half moon shape on the top of it and we'll secure it with a couple screws Perfect. So I'm going to take some measurements with my calipers and head down to the computer. Alright, and here's all the uh, Freakhead version and build info for those of you who might be interested. And as usual, starting with the part design workbench. You always need a body and such a simple shape. We'll start with the sketch and XY plane. And I'll we'll just sketch this out using the dimensions that I gathered with my calipers. This is the arc that makes the half moon shape for the axle leveling bar. I don't know if it really fits the definition of an axle, but. Just slap some dimensions on there. Try and kind of get the general shape. I'm a big fan of seven tree constraints if you haven't been able to tell from watching my other 3D printing videos. And construction lines. I use construction geometry a lot to just kind of place my features. I 
I filled it off the all the top leading edges because I just didn't want any corner over extrusion to interfere there. And that should do it. So go ahead and export this into Kira. Just gonna slice it with whatever PLA settings I was using last time because it worked well and send it to my Taz through Octoprint. All right, got the part off the printer here. Fits really good. I might carve away a little bit more of this here to make it square. I think other than that, it fits great. I did chamfer that out and ended up drilling them out larger to fit, you know, whatever screws that I have laying around. But this isn't even a wearable part. It's only got something moving against it when when you're adjusting the height. Otherwise, everything's stationary. So I don't think I need to really even print it out of anything stronger for now. I'll just shave a little bit more of that away and screw this on there and see how it goes for what little use this mower is going to get this coming season yeah. let me shave that off and then we'll put this axle back on Oh yeah, fits even better now. Grab my screws.
sweet. I think that's going to work out great. All that's left is to slap the wheel back on. And set it back on the ground. It's ready to go for the next season. Alright, thanks for joining me guys. Catch you next time.